Okay, I'm back. I am in the middle of my velvet current versus velvet vintage uh, comparison side by side. Not really side by side, more like a over under shotgun kind of deal, one after the other. Um, I'm about two thirds of the way through my bowl of the current velvet. And um, I wrote down my, my, some notes, some, some of my impressions. Definitely a Burley, no surprise there, right? Um, I would, let's start with the package note. This came to me in a, in a um, small snack size Ziploc uh, bag. And uh, when I first opened it up, the first thing I noticed was, was the licorice or the anise, anise, how you really say that, uh, smell. Um, but the more I, I inhaled it, out of the bag, uh, the more I, I, I noticed that there was a sweetness in, in the smell and the aroma. And it's kind of like kind of like a buttered toffee or a uh, caramel popcorn smell to me. And, and the more I, once I hit my brain I'm, and I realized, yeah, that's what that is, I could really smell it. Um, power of association, I guess. Uh, on the pre-light, um, before lighting the char light, it's really nondescript. I really didn't pick up any any flavors at all, any any aromas through the through the pipe. The char light, I, I definitely got the licorice hit. Uh, I could I could taste sort of an alcohol uh, overtone to it. Supposedly this has some some flavoring on it. Uh, later in the bowl, it, it I, I thought I picked up a, a very very slight hint of cherry. Maybe that's what that is. I don't know. Um, but there's definitely a nuttiness to it. Mm -hmm. um, about a third of the way, bowl, th one third of the way through the bowl, uh, I still got a little bit of the alcohol, but but much less. It seemed to be almost all gone away, so that was good because uh, I'm not a big fan of that. And maybe that's why I've never really gravitated toward a lot of um, aromatics. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it, it's just that light burly taste still. Absolutely no bite. I mean, this truly could be an all-day smoke. Um, it, I found it a bit innocuous. You know, it's like, it's, it's not real flavorful. Uh, it's not harsh. So it's, it's very pleasant to smoke. Uh, it packs well. It lights well. It stays lit well. It, it's, a, you know, STG's uh, ribbon cut. What do you expect? Um, now that I'm two-thirds of the way through the bowl, I, I'm detecting no real change. The retrohale is not really giving me any background flavors. Um, you know, a lot of times on a retrohale, you like on a like on a vapor blend, you'll you'll pick up some of the spiciness from the uh, from the preak. It will really bring that out. I'm just not getting it. Um, one of the the things I would say about this blend is that it it won't likely tire out your palate. Uh, I know when I've smoked a lot of Englishes or um, uh, some of the darker, uh, heavier burly uh, blend, uh, blends or cuts, or um, uh, even some Virginias, uh, and, and certainly like dark fired uh, Kentucky blends. You, you, you can t I tire out my palate after a couple of bowls. You know, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that, if I could, I would smoke probably all flipping day, but uh, I, that's not my lifestyle. So <laughs> I, I enjoy it that much but it doesn't fit my current lifestyle, so I, I won't do that. Uh, the room that reminds me of older cigarettes, and what I mean by that is my, both my parents smoked when I was coming up back in the 70s, uh, early, mid-70s. I think they quit right around the end of that decade, but my dad would roll some of his own cigarettes sometimes. He had a, a cool little machine that would do that for him. I've never been a cigarette smoker. No intentions of ever smoking cigarettes. I, I, you know, I can't honestly say I never tried one. When I was in fourth grade, I know my neighbor and I rode our bikes down to the local post office, uh, put some money into the cigarette machine, and got a pack of um, some menthol cigarettes that were just horrid. Uh, that probably gave me an early enough negative impression of cigarettes to not ever want to try it again. <laughs> um, I love a good cigar. But this, this room note reminds me of 
those older cigarettes. Not the kind of cigarette smell I get these days when I'm in traffic and the guy in front of me is, or, you know, is smoking a um, cigarette and he's got his window down. That, to me, that's mostly a rancid smell. There are some cigarettes that smell good, most of them don't. Um, and I would say that this one is tolerable for sure. My wife wouldn't like it. Her, her mother smoked for decades, most of her life. But uh, it, it's you know she's not fond of the smell, so I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, win her affection through this. <laughs> uh, there are there are very few tobacco blends that she actually does like the smell of. There are some, and I know which ones those are. But I digress. So let me finish this, and I'll come back to you with uh, the vintage velvet. I can't wait to see if that's any different. Stay tuned.